Good morning, Chicka Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? I was about to say like happy Friday, but it's not. It's happy Wednesday, I guess. It is a 4th of July Eve. It is the day before I gave birth to my beautiful baby boy who will be turning 32 tomorrow. Oh my God, y'all. That's scary, but somebody's getting old and it's not me. But yeah, so anyway, I'm about to head into work. I want to just pop on real quick and say hello. Look at my nails. I did not paint my nails. I was going to paint my nails last night. Um, I was actually going to just do my toes and my nails white to make it simple because I had waited so long to paint my nails and then I was exhausted. I started back in the gym again. So, you know, that physical leaving my house to go to the gym is, uh, it's destructive. <laughs> to say the least but yeah so but I I've, I've got to do it um, I do really want to focus on at least putting two days out of the house into the gym and then maybe one to two days in the house working out so but yeah so I ran errands yesterday I had to put gas in my freaking car y'all I y'all know I don't be liking to do that but I had to do it and um, by the time I got home I was just plain exhausted I, I'm not even gonna say anything other than the truth um, yeah, I was tired, so I ended up just uh, leaving my nails with the treatment on it, and that's pretty much it. But the treatment is working. I have a video that went up today that's talking about what I'm using on my nails now, and y'all, it is working. Let me see. So I'm wearing my BCBG jeans. I don't know if you can see them, and yes, that is a Diet Dr. Pepper I got set between my legs, yo. Hey. <laughs> But yeah, I haven't done any OOTDs either. So anyway, but this is the parking garage. I don't know if you guys can see it. But this is where I park every day for my work. Have I shown you this to y'all before? I don't know. But anyway, let me get my bum bum in. It is now, oh my God, it's like 10 till. I'm always in there by like 7.35-ish. So, but I just wanted to chat with you guys for a few minutes. And I needed to hear the ending to the second date update. So I am going to go ahead and get my bum bum inside. And I will chat with you guys a little bit later. Okay, it is lunchtime. I'm in the elevator, headed up to the fourth floor. I am going to actually, there's a little room upstairs. I don't know if I've shown you guys this room or not, but it's kind of like a little game room. And that's where I've been going to have lunch at because it's actually a little bit too humid and hot outside. In the day, we're actually about to have some massive storms, they say, so yeah, not cool. So now I'm in the hallways. This is what the, the hallways look, for this building to be as luxurious as it is, I think our hallways look horrible. Like, I don't know. It looks like you're going in a prison or a dungeon or something. And, okay, so I've shared with you all about my phobia, about being in boiler rooms or anywhere where there's pipes and stuff. And so honestly, the first time I walked this hallway, I was so freaked out. Like, I don't know what it is about me. And even now, like I'm, I honestly, I have to when I'm walking, I walk really fast and I try not to think about where I am because spaces like this freak me out. Like, I don't know what it is, but I feel like I'm going to be trapped and I can't, I won't be able to get out. So it's totally weird, I know, but it's, I don't know, I've had this problem all my life, <laughs> at least as far as back as I can remember anyway. But um, yeah, so. I tend to like walk fast and I think about other things as I'm walking and I just say hurry up hurry up hurry up and I till I get to my destination but yeah it's so weird I just really think it's ugly though right is it just me I mean for as pretty as this building is but anyway okay I feel like I'm all out of breath because I'm holding my hand up and I'm carrying a bunch of crap because you know I got my lunch I got my crap that I want to look at while I'm at lunch and yeah so anywho hey hey chicka pies how we doing how we feeling happy Friday so I hope everyone survived their holiday experiences whatever they were uh, I enjoyed my son's birthday we had a lovely lovely time I got to meet one of his friends his friend's wife and their little boy so watching the children play was awesome we had a full full day I am extremely tired, but I have made it through the day. I actually tried to vlog this morning and I felt like I looked worse than I do now, which is kind of weird. I guess maybe I had a chance to wake up 
but yeah so anyway I am on my way home now and I'm pretty excited because I have a package waiting for me when I get home and of course I'm gonna share that package opening with you all but I actually might do like maybe a two-part video I don't know it might this might just be a long video because I'm trying to decide on a few things but anyway so we'll see but yeah so anyhow I'm going to get off now and um, yeah make that drive home um, You guys have to comment below and tell me some of the things you all did for the 4th of July. Um, like I said, I don't know, I, it, for me it's very important. Like I enjoy the 4th of July, but every, you know, 32 years ago I gave birth. So from that point on, I've kind of always made sure that like, it, I just see it as my son's birthday. I mean, not that I'm neglecting Independence Day by no means, but it's my son's birthday. So that's the first thing that comes to mind for July 4th. And I really like to make it a special day and not all about the holiday for him because it's not fair. It's not fair to any any person that's born on a holiday. Um, so I'm gonna give a shout out right now to all the people that are born on holidays, that their, their day be celebrated separately from the holiday because everyone likes to just roll things in together. And I know my son pretends like it doesn't bother him, but I know that it does because it would so bother me and he's, you know, he's like a little spoiled thing. So I know it bothers him. So me and his wife, my daughter-in-law, in fact, we had this conversation last night, how we really like to make it special for him because he, you know, he tries to be like, no, it's cool. It's all right. It's all right. Because everyone, like the first thing they say is happy fourth. And it's like, well, how about happy birthday, you know? And on that note there, I do have another really close, close friend that celebrated a birthday yesterday as well. So I want to give a shout out to him. Happy birthday. I hope you had a great, great birthday as well. So yeah. So anyway, I'm headed home now. I'm not going to stay on because I'm actually going to try to make a quick phone call as I do my journey home. And I will check in with you guys once I get home and get my package. Yay! Y'all, I'm about to open this package. I'm so excited. Before I open this package, I would like to say thank you, Diane, from the bottom of my heart. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Can y'all see it? That's it. I'm wearing my cute little shoes today, my little slip-ons. I love these. These are my friend Cosado. Love them, love them, love them. TJ Maxx Specialties. Super, super cute. That's it, y'all. It's the dress. I'm not trying to do a whole OOTD because I'm trying to get my package right now. So anyhow, I'm going to open up this package. Okay, so that was the hardest package to get into that I've ever had. Girl, you were making sure nobody got in this package. So anywho, there's paper. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so excited. I mean, I'm like so excited. I'm scared to open it. Like seriously. I don't know why. Okay, I don't want to. Oh. Okay, is this. Okay. Okay. So, in all the paper on the floor, paper, paper, paper. heavy so that means it's got stuff in it oh my gosh <laughs> I'm so excited okay oh and there's the strap perfect so it's got a strap yay navy blue red on the inside this purse looks brand new y'all this girl takes care of her purses so well like I mean this purse looks brand new. There's not a flaw on it anywhere. So I've got a purse with a strap. And let's see, I'm trying to figure out the best way to make if I slide this back a little bit. Just use the 
oh my gosh, a bag full of like samples. You guys know, oh, perfume too. And I was just, mm, Chanel, all right. Oh my God, like a lot of perfume samples. Okay, fun fact about me, I love perfume samples because I get bored with perfumes pretty quick and so I like to go and get samples because I can use up a sample and then move on to the next fragrance. So this is perfect, like so, so perfect. Whoa, I probably can't tell. You know what, hold on, let me go get my glasses. Stay. Okay. I can see now. I don't, I'm not real sure what this is, but it's, it's a sample of something. I'll have to read more later because I don't want to spend the whole time trying to read. This is, oh, Peter, Tom, Peter Thomas Roth. Oh my God, this is so freaking cute. All right, what is this? OPI. Oh my God, what is this? Oh my God, is this all nail? <gasps> Y'all, look at this. Oh my God. Oh, that is such a, oh my God. Look at this. Oh. Oh my gracious. Y'all, this is too cute. I don't even know what to say. Oh my God. Mm. Fingernail file, I can never have too many. Oh my God, look at all these perfume samples. Oh my God, I can't wait to like dig in and figure out what everything is. like. But I'm just not gonna spend the time right now to like figure out what everything is because it'll take too long. Mascara, y'all know I'm all about the mascara. Okay. <laughs> y'all, this is good. I can't handle this. This is just way too much. I'm too excited. Okay, let me just let me just drop the stuff on the floor. Look at oh my god, y'all, this perfume is the best. I asked Diane about this perfume because of course she knows about everything. And she was all like, yeah, yeah, I have several bottles, blah, blah, blah. I don't know which one this is without reading, but Citrine, y'all, these things be smelling good. So anyway, I'm gonna play around with those and see what fragrances I have. Slide that over. Oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. Oh my God. this bag it's a Michael Kors I used to have the same bag in the tan color and I sold it I'm trying to think I don't remember okay, can I take those off and I sold it and I was like I kind of like regretted it after I sold it because I was like I really like that bag but I was trying not to have a whole lot of bags so I would sell them instead of just holding on to them when I stopped carrying them and I love the color of this. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my gracious. So I'm going to assume that this is the gift for Terry because she is a Michael Kors fan and we talked about Michael Kors being for Terry. So she is going to love this, love this, love this. So I'm gonna set that right there. Oh my gosh, I love who is oh it's Rebecca Mika. Oh my gosh. I love now this one's for me. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. It's like a is it okay the lighting in here is going down. I can't tell. I think it's kind of a gold, like almost a rose gold metallic color. Look at all the pockets on this bag. Oh my gosh. Oh see, I like this because it's got all the pockets. I can stick my cell phone right there. This is a very cute, like, summer purse because it's bright and cheery. Like, you know what I mean? <gasps> is that the bag? Don't tell me they have a bag to match the inside of the purse. And it, oh my God, that is, I've not ever seen that. Like, the bag actually matches the inside of the purse. What, what is, oh, okay. I was like, what is that? But that's the handle peeping through. I love the inside of this bag. This bag is heavy. Oh my God, it is so pretty. 
I love, I love, I love metallic bags. I think they just, they, they're a bag, they go out and come back in, go out and come back in. And in fact, a few months ago, I saw a metallic one that I wanted so bad, but of course it wasn't in my budget, but I was like, I want this bag so bad. So this is perfect. And I love this little like, Oh, what? That zips. Oh, that's even cuter. Hold up. Let me figure this out, y'all. Okay. Yeah, it'll be a crossbody. Because once I lower it down one more strap, it'll definitely be a crossbody. Oh, my God. This is too cute. <laughs> okay, so. Michael Kors. Oh, and it's animal print. Now, this one is a perfect size for Terry. Because she likes small purses but it's animal print maybe i won't give this one to her what she don't know won't hurt her is everything michael core is supposed to go to her i don't know this is so cute i've never seen one like this right, what is this oh you know what i think this this is actually my birthday present am i supposed to wait till my birthday to open it not gonna happen because she said the birthday was, yes, oh my God. Look, it's his birthday. <laughs> oh my God, I'm scared to even look in there because I get so excited. <laughs> oh my God, that is, oh Diane, thank you so much. Oh my gracious, she sent me, I think this is probably the whole set because I know there's several fragrances. And this is perfect because this is bigger than a sample but not as big as a big bottle, so I can experiment with them and smell good and see which ones I like the best. I actually like all of them, to be honest with you, but, um, you know, of course, there's some that are probably more faith than others, but I love this. Oh, my God. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can see I've, I'm sporting my bag. I love all my gifts that I got. I have them spread all over the floor. I need to now figure out where I'm going to put everything, throw away the trash and all that fun stuff. And I also need to decide whether or not I'm going to take Terry her items tonight or I'm going to take Terry her items tomorrow. Before I close out the vlog, I do want to say thank you, Diane, from the bottom of my heart. You are such a special and an amazing woman. And your, your gift giving abilities is just overwhelming. You not only have made me very happy today, but I know Terry is going to be so excited when she sees she is such a diehard Michael Kors fan. And so I do want her to have both of them because I know that they will make her very, very happy. So she will get both of the Michael Kors purses and I'm gonna enjoy my Rebecca Mink outfit. I love it. Yes, 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 yes. If you are a first time watcher, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And to all of my returning subscribers, thank you, bye. Okay, so this is actually a little bit later after I've calmed down from all my, my wonderful, wonderful presents. And I'm actually literally sitting here in the couch and I'm about to fall asleep. So if I look a little cray cray right now, it's because I'm about two steps from being asleep. I'm like so sleepy. But I wanted to share with you all that I am wearing a pair of my earrings that I had gotten from one of my subscribers. And unfortunately... I don't remember her name. Like I ha I was looking through my cards. There is two cards that I got from someone named Debbie. Um, I don't want to say the last name, but, um, and I think one of the, I think she, in one of those cards, she gave me these earrings. And I think it was like just something to cheer me up or something like that. I, I didn't have time to read the cards this morning because I was running late for work. And so, well, not running late, but I was running later than I wanted to be for leaving. But, I had not worn these in a long time and I would think about them, but I had them in my jewelry box. My little, I have like this little jewelry thing on my nightstand and they're, they weren't where my, all my other jewelry is. So I kept forgetting, like I would put something else on and forget that they were there. So today I wanted to wear them and I absolutely love them, love them, love them. But I just wanted to give her another shout out for sending me these beautiful, beautiful earrings. Um, and I'm wearing also my bracelet today that is from Monique uh, in that big box of stuff that she gave me. And what else am I? 
I think that's pretty much it. I was like trying to think of what else did I have on that was from subscribers, but I think that might be it. I didn't put any rings on today because I don't know. I was just tired this morning. But anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there because I wanted to acknowledge that I'm wearing my earrings and oh, aren't they pretty? I said so many gifts given to me lately. I'm just like in awe. So anyway, I am falling asleep, y'all. <laughs> Literally, I'm so tired all of a sudden. So I think I'm going to put on my PJs and like snuggle up on the couch. Mm -hmm.